What's going hello. on, everyone? <laughs> hello, hello. Karen's got her Halloween gear on today because it's almost Halloween, and that Ooh. means fall is here. That's right. So, ton fall. so tonight we're going to be talking a little bit about what's sold Ooh. in the during the fall so far for us, and we're going to show you uh, our sold listings and um, jump right into that. We're not going to go actually into like our sales because it shows you the username. Yeah. Privacy. We're about the privacy, but we've actually scrolled to the part in our closet where it starts, and we're going to read from our phones exactly what it is. Yep. Go on up. Be uh, before we jump into this video, and I'm going to let some of you guys join, and then I'll let uh, mention this later on too. If any of you guys caught us last night on um, Steve Rakin's channel, Rakin Profit, uh, doing those ten tips to make a thousand dollars a month on Poshmark, um, we had a special offer for our course there, and our um, Teachable account was having some technical difficulties. So if yeah, any of you guys tried to log into that course, uh, tr tried to sign up for that course last night, it wasn't working, but it is working now. So if you guys want, go ahead and click on the first link in the description. That'll bring you right over to the course. Um, it's a phenomenal course, Poshing for Profits, um, comprehensive course on how to make a full-time living working part-time on Poshmark. We go over everything. We show you how to generate sales, create sales out of nothing. We show you how to use all the features of Poshmark. We show you how to share the parties. We do it all. So it's a comprehensive course. It comes with a full um, Facebook group, just private for the members of the course. So you guys can talk with us and all the people in the course and get in there and um, get your questions answered by us. And there's a couple of other bonuses. If you get the course tonight too, Steve Rakin is throwing in 101 killer men's clothing brands, 101 killer women's shoes, Shoe brands, and yeah. the Blazing Profits Guide. So these are guides to help you source for men's clothing, guides to help you source for women's clothing, and guides to help you source for blazers and suits and all that good stuff. So if you haven't gotten this course yet, it's a perfect time to jump on in and get that course. Click on the first link in the description and check it out. So let's I saw say hi. Song who purple sparkles. <laughs> Look, I got purple sparkles. <laughs> let's say hi to everyone in the chat right now. What's up, Cheryl, Aerosmith, Joe, Christina, or Roscoe? All right, I think I said your name wrong. Sorry about that. Tanita, Barbara, Julie, Trisha, Northwest Purple, purple Sparkles. sparkles. <laughs> what the deuce? What's up? S. Bean, Kim H., Melanie Dunn. How you doing, Melanie? Nikki Fisk and Elisa Goldman. Welcome Hello, to the show, yes. guys. Happy Halloween. I love the emojis. Melissa uh, Davis, what's up? Did some more coming in. Jessica Roberts, hey. Yeah, so we're not going live tomorrow. It is Halloween. Halloween yeah. So a little festive today. What's up, Lauren? That. What's up, Lori? What's up, Beverly? Oh, you said it right. Good what? job. What did I say right? Uh, or wrong. <laughs> I said it wrong. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stop Patricia, right <laughs> how you doing? Kate B, what's up? <laughs> yeah, so we're going to go over um, what's old. Yeah, what's old. And I'm going first, right? So we're going to jump into that in a few minutes. We're going to give you guys we're a gonna chance do, like, to. We're going to do a screen share. Yeah, so we're going to do a screen share of our um, Poshmark closet. And then she's going to scroll through them. And I'm going to uh, just mention what's been selling. Um, I have sold a lot of jeans lately. So jeans are selling. You're going to see that shortly. I think I sold about 10 pairs of jeans in the past month or so. Uh, from September 30th to now. So um, jeans are selling great, and particularly diesel, and we'll show you those in a second. Um, a lot of good stuff's been selling. Still, I had some surprises. I won't spoil it all, but we'll jump in there and show you what's going on. What's up, Lisa Barton and Desi Miller? What the deuce sauce on Steve's channel. Ah. We were nice. with Steve today. Yeah, we were with Steve today. We did a couple of videos with Steve. He's going to be uploading those later, and um, they're pretty cool videos. So you guys want to check those out, definitely just look at his channel, rakingprofit.com. Or rake and profit on YouTube, not dot com. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe that's why you can invite it. <laughs> so um let's jump into this show real quick. We'll we'll screen share real quick if that's okay with you guys. Oh, you done this one? Give me a second. Give us a second. We'll screen share <laughs> the sales and we'll jump back in for your questions. So we're not gonna be able to see the comments. We'll have the phone running, but if you have questions to ask us, um just wait till we're done screen share and throw your questions. We'll do a little QA when we're done with that. So Okay, so first question. Do you see Jay's sold listings? <laughs> or do you see us? Bum, bum, bum. We need to get the answer to this before we're done. If you see Jay's sold listings, this is what we want to have. And we will wait. And we will wait. Someone help us. Tell us what you see. I don't, I don't think they're seeing it because it's uh, right there. So we got to figure out what's going on. Ah! Nothing. Sorry about that. Give us a second here, guys. Okay. So screen share. Oh, there it is. Okay. 
There it goes. Much better. Now you should see him. She <laughs> yes. she hit the wrong button. Yes. <laughs> Bear with us. All right. So there they are. They're up now. Go. What's we're all right, so open, we're not going to go through all of them, but I will. We're not going to open any no, of them, too, because we want to protect the buyers and all that. Of the but you can too. see what the sold price are at the bottom if you want to take a look at those. We'll start. I was going to start with the William Rass, but I'll go from this whole row here. So we got structured jeans. These have been in my closet for quite some time. Um, they That's finally sold for ten dollars. I think I had them listed for like twenty-five, so I took an offer on those. Buffalo, Buffalo by David Bitten. These jeans have been rocking real quick lately. I've been selling a ton of these. These were new with tags. I found these at Costco for sixteen dollars, and they sold for thirty-four dollars. That was a great buy. They it went, was quick. It was quick flip too. It yeah. Was quick. Yeah. This is so. Don't uh, don't rule out Costco and big box stores like that for sourcing because you can get great deals there. This is another shirt I got at Costco. New with tags, Nat and Ass, short sleeve button down. It sold in the fall and it sold for $40. I think we picked this up for about 15 as well. Yeah, Costco. <laughs> and then this is the rest of this stuff I think is all thrifted. So we got the William Rass Billy Boot Distressed Jeans in 3432. So size is important to notice. These these sizes sell the best. Um, some I have some smaller sizes, but for the most part, it's this stuff. You know, so they're good jeans. They're still gonna yeah, they're good up. jeans. They're still going to pick them up. So William Rast, I have a problem getting rid of. They go a little slower in my closet, so I'll take an offer on those. Um, this they're is another jeans, no, another great example of the style that's in right now for the fall. All these plaids are really hot. These plaids are going to sell like crazy. I found this really unique your Armani Exchange pink and gray plaid shirt, and I picked it up for like five bucks. Sold it for thirty, so that's not bad. Um, this was out of my personal collection. It didn't fit me anymore, so I got rid of it. Um, I don't think I ever wore it, actually. You and, bought it um, and didn't try it on. Yeah, another example of plaid shirts. So plaids definitely are selling right now. I was so excited uh -huh. to pick this up. How cool is this sweater right here? You this is the cost. I wanted to keep you that, but it didn't fit it. me. <laughs> so we uh, we thrifted again, thrifted this. All this is going to be for under $7 thrifted, so just keep that in mind. That's like the elbow patches. Yep. Remember those when you were a kid? <laughs> So this is the Lacoste sweater. It sold for $35. Another pair of jeans. Diesels have been selling like hotcakes lately. I think I have like four sold, sold like at least four pairs of diesels in the last month and a half. These are the Quartz Street Leg jeans in 3330s. And they're selling for good profit too. They're selling for around $40 to $50. So keep that in mind. Um, baseball season was here. The Yankees lost, but we got this sold right before they lost. They you, were beaten by that, the Red Sox, of course. That wasn't listed for long. No, either. I put that, I waited to put that up for the playoffs. And it went really Went real quick, quickly. yeah. And for 30 bucks, so not a bad little it was, deal. What was it? It was an um, actual, like, practice jersey. Practice yeah, jersey. Practice yeah, it had, like, yeah. And then we move on to the English Laundry Striped Flip cuff. Flip cuffs are hot. They sell crazy. You talk good. about them a lot. I didn't get the best deal on this, but I, it's been sitting in my closet for a while. So I took it's an offer on that for 15. Too, it's a it? smaller size. 15.5 is a medium or medium. so in men's. So that's not quite. Um, what does 15.5 mean? That's the neck oh, size. That's 15.5. Yeah. If you're looking at this, that's the neck size. The numbers after that, the 34, 35 or whatever they are, they're going to be uh, pertain to chest measurements. And um, and they usually coincide, right? They coincide, like they go, yeah. Bigger, yeah. So you just numbers. need to know your neck size. A man just needs to know his neck size to get the right shirt because mm -hmm. everything else is, is right. I didn't know that. See, shorts sell year <laughs> round, as we're talking about. These are Arizona jeans, cargo shorts, nothing special. Um, picked them up for cheap and sold them for 18 bucks. Another Armani shirt right here, Armani Exchange t shirts. You can't really get much profit out of t shirts, but you get enough. Um, I got thirteen dollars for that, and I that was an older listing. That was an too. older listing too. Yeah, so same with this, this Nautica mm -hmm. shirt right here. So we take uh, everything that's older. I'm I'm gonna take a lower offer on or a lower price on because I just want to get it out of my closet and make room for the new stuff. So I blow this stuff out. This sold for ten dollars. Um, we got it. This has been sitting around for a year or so since I first started. That so was one of your first listings. One of my first, first listings. Yeah. yeah, another pair of buffaloes. These are um. And this was all in a bundle right here. These next four jeans all came in one Scroll bundle a little bit so they can see the to bearings. the seven for all mankind yep. right here. That was one bundle sold. To Let's the talk about guy. that bundle. <clears throat> How heavy are four <laughs> men's pair of jeans? 6.7 ounces. 6.7 pounds. Yeah. So it was over the five pounds. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot the charge for shipping. Live and learn. I'm still new to Poshmark. I'm still going to make mistakes. I forgot the charge for an upgraded shipping label. So I had to eat the cost. Men's jeans are heavy. Luckily, I still made profit. So we're good. So there were the Buffalo jeans, the Buffalo David X, David Bitten Driven X jeans, Seven for All Mankind Austin Relaxed Street leg jeans, the uh, Parish Nation, which is just a, um, it's a, it's a pair of jeans that, that are, they're kind of funky. 
but they're they're nothing you should actually run out and source for. I bought them because of style, and they actually end up selling. But um, I wouldn't suggest going and sourcing for these specifically if you're looking for jeans. If you can find them and they're cheap, pick them up. But don't like break can the bank over. Can you get those at like a yard sale? I got them at a yard sale for like two dollars yeah. a piece. Yeah, yeah, so I bought those. And then the seven for all mankind, Jared distre uh, relaxed slim distressed jeans. So that went all to one. All to one bundle. Buyer. Another pair of Diesels right here sold for thirty five dollars. And these are the Clorats again and 3230s. Then I have my famous shirt and tie combos <laughs> I've been telling you guys about. Um, I took an offer on this because, again, they, uh, they've they been sitting for a while. I know the fall's coming around. They're going to start selling again. So we sold that for 25 bucks. And um, the ties were free. Those were from my personal collection. The shirt probably cost me about 5 bucks. So I made good profit on that, even though I took a lower offer than what I had it listed I for. I can see men really liking that, too. Yeah. They don't have to, like, oh, does this match my we got shirt, another. <laughs> we got another pair of diesels right here, the the, the Zathan Slim Boot Cut Jeans, 3630s, sold for 20 Eight, is that $28? Yep, $28. So we took a little bit of lower offer on that, but a sale is a sale. I couldn't pass it up. So more shorts. More shorts. Vineyard yes. Vines. I took a hit on these. Um, not I still made profit, but I took a hit price-wise on these. Um, they weren't selling all summer. And if somebody makes an offer on my shorts in the fall, I'm just gonna sell them at whatever offer they come into. So I sold them for 15 bucks and uh What's probably made like bucks? 12 bucks. I probably made like eight bucks profit on those or nine bucks profit, something like that. <clears throat> These are something that I picked up um, because they were new with tags at Target. Again, this is an item I don't suggest going to source for. These are uh, and they were new with tags way. at the Goodwill. I'm sorry, at mm -hmm. the Goodwill. These are a Target branded jeans. They're really good quality jeans, but they're just inexpensive. So I picked them up. They were all new with tags. They sell for about $29, $30 in Target. I was uh, happy with, I picked them all up for like $3 a piece at Goodwill because they were on sale. So I was happy to take anywhere between $20 and $25 for them. I went a little lower because what's $2? It's not going to break my bank. No. So I sold them for $18. Um, I have sold, I bought five of them and I've sold three pairs already uh, of these jeans. So they do sell. People like having the lower end stuff in your closet. Well, you're, um, not gonna you're not going to get a lot of money. You're not going to get a lot of money for them, but, but they will sell. Um, and I do notice that if you guys are looking to get into wholesale or bulk buys, uh, bulk.com has a uh, good fellow jeans by the pallet. And I think you can get them for like two bucks a piece. So even if you sell them at $20, I think it's like you get like 40 pairs for $200 or something like that. So, um, even if you sell them for 20 bucks, you're making about $18 profit there, uh, before fees. So, um, it's not a bad idea to get into bulk buys with a cheap buy You're like that and give it a that, shot. And that's yeah. That's what people come to your closet. For. Right. Yeah, sure. Uh, we got a Bugachi Omo orange stripe button Bugacci. down. These are good shirts to source for. These Sounds sell like well. A sports car. Sold for 25 bucks. <laughs> the button ups I get right around, button downs I get right around 25 to 30 for. That's just the going rate right on Poshmark for any button down. Um, Shirts don't sell as well as pants and sweaters do, so and jeans. Unless so I, it's like really, unless really it's really high, high end, end or something like, like yeah. a Burberry Nova check or something. So I, at twenty five bucks, I think I had it listed at like forty or something like that. So I took that. Um, Polo by Ralph Lauren Green Cardigan. This sold for thirty eight dollars, and this was a really cool shirt. Um, and that was a quick flip too. Quick flip. I got mm -hmm. this uh, like literally a a week, and it sold in a week. So that's pretty cool. And then we got Lulu Let's Lemon. Talk about the Lululemon. <laughs> I had this in the summer, but I waited to post it to the fall because it's a long sleeve shirt. And, and I figured it was, it was a Lululemon. I, well, I figured it would look go better in the <laughs> fall. I didn't forget it was a Lululemon. Um, I figured it would go sell well, sell better in the fall. And it did. And we got, what did we get? 30 bucks off of that. Mm -hmm. So for a simple t-shirt for 30 bucks, that's not a bad deal. There is Lululemon. Original men. price is right around 75 bucks. So you can make, that's about half profit right there uh, for the resale value. It's pretty strong resale not value. Not as many items as no. women's do have. In Peter the Millar, green and plaid, blue button down XL. This is another plaid shirt. Plaids are just selling like crazy right now. $25. Again, standard price for the button downs. That's what happens. Another pair, another lot of shorts. I sold two pairs of the same size shorts in the fall again, $25. Uh, again, an offer that came through, and I just I will, won't refuse offers on shorts if it's <laughs> short, short, at this short. point. <laughs> this I was a little disappointed with. This sold for a little less than I wanted it to, um, but it just wasn't getting much traction, um, so I took an Those offer cool. on it. Those were cool. <laughs> They're very unique. They were uh, the J. Crew Red Swordfish Chinos, um, sold for 20 bucks. so I – made something on them. Again, this is all going to make me profit. It's just uh, sometimes I don't get what I want for them. So it happens. It's it's the nature of the beast. 
Adriana Goldschmidt, the graduate, black pants. So the pants, Adriana Goldschmidt pants, these styles have been selling better than jeans this year. Um, I have a bunch of AGs in my closet that just aren't moving right now. I'm not sure why. We uh, love them. We love them. I know <laughs> that other people love them. I just think maybe people are going towards a different cut of jeans, different style of jeans now, and the AGs are kind of being pushed back a little bit. I know they're going to sell eventually, but um, it just takes a little bit more time now with AGs. So try and stay away from AG jeans. If you can find AG pants like this, yeah. these are like simple uh, – they're, they're similar like to slack. jean cuts, but they're like slacks. Yeah, they're made out of cotton and stuff. Yeah. This is one of my wholesale blazers. I'm going to start selling these more often. The picture is terrible. Yeah. I just put this up because somebody at Posh Fest wanted to buy it, so I made a rudimentary listing and just popped it up on there. It's got a paisley pattern. It's all shiny and fancy and uh, sold it for $150. I picked this up for $75, so I doubled my money on that. And uh, it's a pretty sweet deal. Another flip cuff. Um, this one I sold for eighteen dollars. I just took an offer on that. It's also a little bit more boring. Yeah, this is know? a boring or more boring more one. Plain. So it's not it's not the best. Uh, not so fancy. Remember, these are sales just from October. So this is just the month of October right here. This T-shirt was a personal T-shirt of mine. I used to have it. I used to wear it. it just doesn't fit anymore. So I sold it for nine oh, bucks. Pineapple says I have a pair of men's AG jeans, black that have been sitting since summer. Re list those so they get them, yeah. fresh, fresh eyes on them then we got pendleton pendleton always does well pendleton is just one of those brands that will sell and they sold for 30 bucks i picked it up for like six bucks so i think that's a little lower than what you should take for pendleton but i take offers I, i'm not picky so I'll, I'll take an offer and make a sale yeah your price for piece is low though this you know? was a really cool find look at this shirt this is an ugly sweater ugly christmas sweater but it's an nhl branded against the new jersey devils that went quick that went really quick this went in a day i found this yep. at the thrift store i listed it and the next day it sold for 40 dollars um, i had it listed at 75 that's my new thing right now if you take a look at some of my closet prices in the top I've been pricing extremely high, almost double what I want to take. That way, the, when the lowballs come in, they lowball me at the offer that I would actually accept. So they think they're getting over yeah, on me, but I'm actually I'm actually making the sale at the hey, appropriate price, and it's been working. So um, and then this penguin, this vintage original penguin green shirt. This was a personal collection of mine that just doesn't fit anymore, and it sold oh, for twenty seven dollars at full dope. price. I used to love this shirt. This was a great shirt, and um. It sold for 27 bucks at full asking price. Okay, so what I'm going to do now so is... So that's what's sold for me so far from October. We are going to stop screen sharing for a second, answer a few questions if you got any, and then we will go back to the screen share to me. All right, so, um, yeah, Jay just flew through all of his listings. No, you can't, no. Um, <laughs> what's the most popular woman's shoe size? So it's not a specific size. You have to think majority. I say anything between a seven and a half and a nine and a half is like that smack dab average for a shoe size. Seven and a half is obviously the smaller end. Nine and a half to a 10 would be the larger end. Um, that's why I have a hard time finding shoes <laughs> because I am an eight and an eight and a half, which it just seems everybody is that size. <laughs> so I got a question that came in from Julie here. What's your favorite brand of men's shirt to sell? Um, if I can find Robert Graham's, I'll love to sell those. They're hard to find right now, uh, but they sell for great money. It's still not my favorite. I think my favorite is not a brand really. Um, it's a style. I love the flip cuffs. They really do. They're very unique. They're very. They're just an awesome looking shirt. They're a perfect casual button down. And um, I've I found no name flip cuffs. I found name brand flip cuffs like English Laundry. They all seem to sell and they sell for good profit. So flip cuffs, I really um, enjoy throwing in my closet. It gives a. Gives <laughs> if a nice you watched little... any of our haul videos, you'll see Jay going. Look at this flip cup. Look at this flip cup. <laughs> Look at this flip. Cup. <laughs> he likes them. I love them. Nikki, okay, she said she tried to change a size and delete a listing since it sold on eBay. It wouldn't let me because they had an offer out on the item. Try changing the color. Um, I've heard sometimes the size randomly will work and randomly won't, but if you change the color, any actual change to the listing is going to negate the offer because they put an offer on a red sweater, not a blue sweater or whatever it is. Yeah, Aerosmith Joe, I always try to fit um, tag words in my listings. If it's made out of Italian merino wool, I'll put that right in the listing. If it's spe spe specific cotton and fabric makeups that really sell well, I'll put that in there. Um, I think I had ugly Christmas sweater and the New Jersey Devils sweater there in the listing. Uh, I always put flip cuffs and descriptive words in my 
and my um, listings as well. I think that it really helps with the Google search it does. ranking. Because you know you have so <clears throat> many characters to use, and somebody might not type in Bugatti. They might say like flip cup shirt or red button down shirt, you know? So the more um, descriptive words, you have to think like someone trying to buy something, you know, and it might, they might not shop the brand. So they might put in yeah. descriptive words. And if you could fit it in that title. Just fit as much as you can in that title. title. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, we do cross post to eBay and other platforms. We use Mercari and Depop and eBay right now. I cross post all my men's clothes to eBay. Uh, maximum audience for maximum um, maximum viewing audience that way, so I get doubled and tripled sometimes the audience. I'm a little bit more picky when I have a cross post to eBay because I do get a higher selling point for my clothes, the women's clothes, on Poshmark than I do on eBay. Um, when I do move women's clothes over to eBay and I cross post them, it's kind of like my um, Macy's basement or whatever. Finally, in yeah. the basement, it's like, okay, you're not moving. Let's take a little bit more of it. Beverly, um, ninety percent of my sales are from the south. Should I keep listing summer and spring items? I say if you have it listed, um, they're gonna sell year round. As you can see through my sales, I sold shorts. I've sold shirt, short sleeve shirts, t-shirts. Um, any any a lot of warm weather gear I have sold in the fall. Um, they will sell year round. People go on vacations, they go on cruises, they go to tropical islands and all that good stuff. So just list what you have. It's going to get you a listing. If it doesn't sell now, it's going to sell eventually. So don't worry about it. Um, just get it up there to boost your numbers and um, you'll be good to go. Yes, you should, we do list new items every uh, almost every day. Today we were a little busy, so I didn't get a chance to take pictures and, we've been and list. What, like we've an been hour. home for an hour. So um, <laughs> we were busy with today's day-to-day -to -day, uh, business. But I, if I'm home and I'm home most of the time, I take my pictures in the morning, list in the evening, and um, do Damn. the profits of uh, the parties. What's up, Rakin? Oh, this is why we were busy today, Mr. Steve, but we enjoyed it. <laughs> Any advice for someone super new? Yeah, I, um, check your pricing, check your pictures, um, check out Poshing for Profits for all of your uh, new needs. Link in the description. I'm sorry I snuck it in there. <laughs> <laughs> if you are new to Poshmark and you want to learn how to sell like a pro, check Poshing for Profits out first. Link in the description. Um, it's a comprehensive guide to Poshmark. You will um, get a crash course on everything Poshmark from downloading the app and navigating the app all the way to boutique certification and how to do wholesale on Poshmark and everything in between. We got parties covered. We got sharing covered. We got sourcing covered. We got it all covered um, in this course. And it's a phenomenal resource for you guys that are new to Poshmark or coming over from eBay and not quite fully versed in the Poshmark universe yet. Um, the good news about that is the course is on sale for 50% off right now. Uh, it's a promo special promotional offer. I'm not sure how long it's going to last for, but we'll let you know. Probably a week. So um, you got you got about a week to jump in on that course if you haven't gotten in there yet. So click the first link in the description. It's going to take you right to the course. You will get the price. You don't have to do any coupon codes or anything like that. It's 50% off automatically. And Steve Rakin has been Boom. has thrown in some bonuses for anybody that signs up for the course that I mentioned it earlier. I'll mention it again. He's throwing in 101 killer men's clothing brands. He's throwing in 101 killer women's shoe guide. And he's throwing in the Blazing Profit program. That's going to help you source like a master for men's and women's clothing and shoes. So those bonuses are great. He's throwing them in. All you got to do is email a copy of your receipt to Rake and Profit and... Uh, Steve, type your email address in there real quick so they can send the email this email to the right place. And um, we got you covered there. But I, I do feel that's a thing. People, when they come over from eBay, especially clothing on eBay, has a way lower perceived value. Unless it's something like crazy, unique, or like fabulous or high end. Um, the average clothing price is way lower than on Poshmark. So they move over to Poshmark yep. and they're, am I pricing things too low? Like people keep getting all these like big sales and it, it might be be that you might be pricing a little too low for the prep platform. That's very common in the beginning. Thank you. There's That's Steve's email, rakeandprofit at gmail. <laughs> I should have known that. <laughs> rakeandprofit at gmail.com. If you pick up the course tonight, don't forget to email him your receipt. He'll send you those bonuses. I'm going to a posh party live in Tampa. Any tips on what to ask? Do there as a newbie. Yeah, enjoy it. Network. Network. <laughs> Meet people. Mm -hmm. um, if if you have business cards, I'm not saying you just go order and spend all this money. You know, if you have some business cards, getting your username out there, especially as a newbie, um, it's going to help you gain followers and people that you've actually met face to face. You're going to meet a lot of 
Poshmark's users. Manish usually goes. Yeah, to Manish will go to some of them parties. if he's in town and all that. We yeah. met him in New York. Um, so the CEO is there once in a while, and he usually tries to make them all. So Take it's a great pictures. place to meet the CEO and all that good stuff. Um, yeah. Use the hashtags, post on their social media, and tag Poshmark. It's a really good place to like get your face and your name known. And, and it's like it's more than just being on, you know, being on a web like on Poshmark with your closet name. It's like your face. So meet people. Love it. Have fun. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? I don't know. We're good. <laughs> I was gonna. Oh yeah, I know what I was gonna say. I lost my train of thought for a second. It just derailed, but I'm back. Uh, if you guys are enjoying this video and you want to learn more about Poshmark, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you're new here, um, just hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to tap the bell to no be notified when we go live, when we upload new videos, and all that good stuff. If you're enjoying this video tonight, hit that like button and give us a thumbs up. It really would. We really appreciate that from you guys. Let's try and get. We're see where we're at right now. Address that really quick. We just fixed that. Kimberly. Yeah, I just, I, I'm going to. Um, okay. We have uh, 14 likes. Let's get to like 50 likes tonight at least. So let's see if we can hit that like button 50 times. You guys jump all over that. Who likes my bat ears? Yeah, Kimberly. Um, <laughs> let's see what's going on here. She kept getting she's trying. Back, she's getting moved back. Let me take a look at it real quick. We. Oh, uh, you want to? I want to share your next stuff, and I'm going to go look. At yeah, the yeah, yeah. He's going to check that out. We thought we. Fix that. Should be fixed, it yeah. should be fixed. Um, I'm gonna go over my solds now, and you guys keep asking questions. We got the cell phone with you running here, and let's try this. We'll try the sell Karen's. There we go. Let's see. All righty, and drum roll. We see my sold listings. So misguided was the last was end of September. <laughs> I, I my first sale would be these jeans, Citizens of Humanity. I think Citizens of Humanity is a really good denim. I also feel that in the past like year or two, they've taken a steady decline in popularity. I don't know why. I can't tell you why. But there's two things why I bought these. They were stretch denim, they were like a lightweight denim, and they were high rise, which is still pretty much in. So um, they sold for $30. And then, Uggs, 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 Uggs. We got those on our way back from our vacation in Virginia Beach. Um, I didn't have them up for that long, you know? And I, I had them at 70. Someone offered me 50. They were a size 10. And if anybody has ever worn Uggs, you know that they um, run from a size 10 to a, like an 11 to account for the half size. So they're a little bigger. And so I was like, you know what? It's a big size foot. I'm just going to take 50 bucks. Bam! 50 bucks. Uggs. 50 <laughs> Happy bucks. Happy with that one. <laughs> and they're a little unique. They have like this sock thing going up it. This knit sock with a... Oh, so... Fine Apple says my best jean seller is Torrid. I pick up Torrid jeans when I find them as well. All right. So, next one, Madewell skinny jeans. <laughs> when we were at Posh Fest, I was talking to some of my roommates at our Airbnb and I was like, I don't know why it is, but every single time I find Madewell jeans, whether they're skinny jeans, whatever, they're always a smaller size. So, these were a size 25. I don't care. I do not care what size they are made well. <laughs> I will buy them. So they sold for $35. They're like that army green skinny jean. Alrighty. Wild Fox. I found Wild Fox in the wild. Oh, I love made well. Lisa says, I finally found two pairs. They sold quickly and for a good price. Yes. I found made well today. I was excited about that. So this Wild Fox, um, 35 bucks. I could have gotten a little more. It wasn't that um the beach jumpers, the ones that have that like inside out sweatshirt feel. It was just a sweatshirt. And it had a little bit of bleed. Like when they washed the shirt originally, it kind of like bled pink a little bit down here. And that was completely in the listing. Still sold. Somebody's happy with it. I was happy with 35 bucks. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, uh, by the way, just to jump back in about the course, I did just go check everything out. Um, it looks like the links are working fine. I can get to the enroll page, so just give it a shot again. Yeah. Um, I just used the coupon code to enroll with a free course, and it worked fine, too. So just go give it a shot again, see if it's working for you. If not, we'll figure it out and uh, go from there. 
Purple Sparkle says, Wild Fox. It's a new one for me. Yes, Wild Fox is, it's, I think it sells for in the hundreds of dollars, like $118 new for a sweatshirt or $110 new. Um, they sell them at higher end department stores. They sell them online. You know, it's not like you just get them anywhere. Um, they are very limited print when they come out with a print, you know, like their Halloween prints are very big wild fox. So purple sparkles. I'm very happy you learned a new brand. Next one is this orphan black hot topic collaboration. Um, I kind of saw it. It was, I think, $2.50 when I bought it. And I kind of like Orphan Black. And I was like, I'm just going to take this because there's fans out there. Made 18 bucks. Happy about that. All right. Cut from the cloth jeans. Um, I was talking to somebody earlier about cut from the cloth. Deciding what, see how it says Diana skinny relaxed fit jeans? Um, cut from the cloth doesn't stitch or print their name of their jeans inside of their jeans, like most do. Um, it's kind of on this separate iron on patch. And sometimes that thing washes away or rubs away. And sometimes it's not there. And you, it's hard to tell exactly what they are. But those ones were definitely the Diana Skinny Relax Fit. Do, do, do. Oh, good. Kimberly got in. It worked. Nice. <laughs> Excellent. So um, these are was the last of my <clears throat> iphone covers you can sell you can sell <laughs> iphone covers you can sell accessories i don't know they made that ruling but would you have those for about five years no like three years that was like one of my first boutique items that i bought and i was like and i re-upped on them and they were iphone sixes i did it wasn't thinking when i got another shipment <laughs> of them well in a month they're gonna have an iphone 7 and you know how people go get the new phone. So I, I was sitting on this like last case for like ever. I mean, yeah, I sold it for seven bucks. What I make like $4 on that. Take it, get it out of my face. <laughs> Whoever still has an iPhone six. <laughs> Stuart Weitzman. Stuart Weitzman. That's a great brand uh, of uh, uh, women's shoes. They sell for they Phenomenal. were so nice. Phenomenal. It was like a very butter soft leather, um, high heel platform with a bow peep toe. Sold them for 40 bucks. Happy, happy, happy. Lululemon. These were the Align Pant um, 25 Sequoia camo. Um, I had those, I believe, at either 65 or 70. And whenever you put Lululemon pants up, you're just going to get offers all over the board. <laughs> you know, I was getting $20 offers, $30, you know, like lower offers than I wanted. When I had a reasonable offer, I just took it. Get them in, get them out. 50 bucks. I mean, maybe I could have held out and gotten 60, but. 50 is a good profit on 50 that. 50 is a good price on that. Yeah. Now you're going to see this says not for sale. I'm going to actually delete this afterwards. This was a Mercari sale. My other pair of Uggs, and it did sell for $70 a Mercari. So both pairs of Uggs that I had, boom, out of there. These I was surprised at. I'm like, that's very like spring like. Yeah. You know. <laughs> but it, again, it just goes to show you that any any time of the year, any style is gonna sell. Any any um style, any cut, any any um yeah, they're gonna sell. Ted Baker London floral embroidered heels. I think um Easter when I see those. But hey, someone wanted them. 32 bucks. And as you see, a lot of my sizes, nines, nines, for like the shoes, someone was asking about that, yep. you know? So I try, I'll still pick up size six and whatnot if it's a special shoe. Next one, Adriana Goldschmidt, the angel boot cut. So you're going to see that this is a $25 sale. I don't pick up the angels as much. The angel boot cut are an older cut of Adriana Goldschmidt's. Now they still have some people wanting them, but you're not gonna get primo dollar for them. I didn't pay too much for them, so I was kind of happy to get 25 bucks. It's just a basic boot cut, you know, and like boot cut jeans you can get in any brand. They're nothing, nothing special about that, right? Oh no, Lachey says I can't find Lululemon anywhere. Lululemon is tough to find. You got to be real lucky to find Lululemon. Everybody wants it. Everybody does want it. And sometimes the thrift stores know what they have. And if that's the case, you don't want to pay up too much for it, you know? Now these, I was talking my first pair of pants, the Citizens of Humanity. These I've had in my closet. This was like, I believe... 
my third or fourth relist. They were about to get cross posted on eBay and I couldn't figure out why they were uh, skinny straight leg stretch jeans. They are very well-made jeans, um, stylish. <laughs> and so I had them at 35 and I got, I took the $25 offer. Aha. Bendy. Those I got in the summertime. Remember the estate sale? <laughs> yep. We, Fendi. We did a uh, haul video on this estate sale we went to when we picked up all this really like high end stuff. Like we picked up Prada, we picked up Fendi, we picked up like Gucci. <laughs> we picked up all this high end, a lot of Lululemon yep. too. You know, so um, these I was also surprised. They were crop pants, you know, so they sold in the fall. Look who else sold some shorts. <laughs> That's right. I sold some shorts. I sold some uh, J. Crew broken in three inch chino shorts, just basic chino shorts. You can find these cheap. Um, sometimes in the summer, if I have two of the same pair, I'll like bundle them together like Jay did. Another thing that sold from that same estate sale. Ah, the Prada. Prada. Love Prada. Prada Milano black, black ruffle placket top, 66 bucks size two. The thing was tiny. <laughs> it was like tight on my dress form. <laughs> Next one is a pair of Hudson's. I was, I did that during closet clear out. You guys notice how there's like a little arrow emoji. People ask me, where do you get that arrow? It's an emoji. It's in your keyboard. It's in your emoji arrows. It's all um, by the numbers section. You got to scroll over a little bit, yep. um, but everybody has them. Yeah. It's like farther. You just got to keep scrolling. Um, so I did that during closet clear out. Bam, sold. I didn't pay for a reduced shipping because it was closet clear out. Now, this is one of those things. They were a size six. I saw them there. Dance go. Now, they aren't the clogs, the normal clogs, but they're so cute. And I said, you know what? They're a size six. They're smaller. I might sit on them. Did I sit on those? No. Dance goes are hot too. Dance goes will sell any, any not even twenty four hours. Not anytime. even not even twenty four hours. And I had them at fifty six dollars. She sent me a forty four dollar offer, and I just took it. A lot of nurses <laughs> out there that need these comfortable shoes to be stylish as well. So that's who's looking for these professionals and nurses, even and bartenders, bartenders, yeah, um, wait staff that <clears> needs <throat> to be on their feet all day. Slip the slip resistant. They're great and they sell really well. So keep an eye out for dance goes. Mm hmm. Next one, Victoria's Secret, very sexy lacy corset. Sold that, 25 bucks. Ooh, where am I going? Ah, free people, the prettiest thing maxi dress. I have another one of those. I have a size small still listed. I got that a little late in the summer. We had like a haul video. We get sometimes um, warehouse sales that have like overstock of free people, anthropology, um, and I had gotten that there and bam, 59 bucks. So as you see the next three things, we got jeans, we got jeans, we got jeans, bam. <laughs> so who says denim doesn't sell? I'm <laughs> telling you, I have been selling denim. <laughs> so we have a pair of Page Vertigo crop skinnies. These were also a closet clear out. They were dropped by $10 and they sold. They had that puckering. Now, those of you, we've talked about this, how Paige jeans, the elasticity puckers a bit. They had that puckering, so I did take 28 bucks on them. Okay with that. These were another pair of jeans that they just wouldn't move through relist after relist. Maybe it was a size, size 25. It's a small size, yeah. It's a pretty small size. And it was a J brand's nice. They're really good. They were the do you know J brand was the first pair of jeans to actually call a skinny jean a skinny jean? I didn't know that. They didn't, they, there was no label to it. Sure, oh. they were fitted jeans, but they said these are skinny jeans. <laughs> it was J brand. Thank you very much. <laughs> Should go on Jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> Next one's True Religion Victoria's Stretch Skinny Jeans. I was going back and forth with pricing with this one person oh. and I had dropped it for Classic Clear Out. Or no, I sent an offer. I sent an offer. I sent an offer for 28 bucks. And then she said 23 bucks. And I was like, you know what? Take them. <laughs> take them, take them, take them. Brandy Melville sweater. Now, Brandy Melville, quick flips. Those of you who have ever sold Brandy Melville, don't pick it up for anything over a couple bucks. Like, you know, if you could get this sweater for two, maybe $3, cool. 
you turn three bucks into 22, 25 bucks, you know? Don't go spending seven or eight dollars on because you see Brandy Melville. It does have a loyal fan base. People will buy it. It will be a quick flip, but you're not going to get all that much money for it. Understand the Brandy Melville. I think sometimes people get a little gung ho about it, you know, and they go, ooh, <laughs> too much. <laughs> Next one, Flint boot cuts from Seven for All Mankind. Flint have those little zigzags. They're like a backwards seven and a seven. That's the signature back zigzag of the Flint. Um, those sold full asking price, 34 bucks. Flints are also a little bit older of a Seven for All Mankind. Then we have Vans. I bought those for myself. You guys see that word in there? What's that say? Flamingo. Remember I tried them oh, on? Yeah. That was so sad. I came down the stairs kind of like waddling my feet and he's like what's wrong i was like they're tight <laughs> i was so sad so i had to relist them got to, i got exactly what i paid for them so i'm happy about that next one um we got this in cincinnati at a garage sale for two bucks it's a coach madison purple gathered satin purse not your average coach it was more of an evening bag than you know like a regular coach bag with the c's we're getting there. AJ's still cigarette leg stretch jeans for a year. For a year, I think it was like sham something wash. The four year was the wash. Again, I sold those for 29 bucks. Brandy Melville again. We were just talking about that. 20 bucks for a size 24. They were high rise with that exposed button fly. They sell well, but not for great profit. Yeah, yeah, don't spend a lot of money on them. But hey, when you find it cheap, snag it up. Shorts. What's that? Shorts. That's right. Um, just like Jay, I did take a little cut on it. I sold them for twenty bucks. Get rid of them. It's the fall. You want to get rid of your small, your summer stuff I'd rather and move make... your fall stuff and winter stuff in. Exactly. After the twenty percent, you make sixteen bucks. Yeah. I probably bought those things for like four bucks. So I know everything we get, we get for under seven dollars. So yes. as long as we can make eight bucks, we're making profit. So. Yes. These I got at in Texas. <laughs> we went to Austin, Texas. And I had to fly home with this big box of boots. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth it. I made 50 bucks on it. Those were those were listed for a couple of days. It is boot season, people. List your boots. <laughs> Next one. Um, free people, ring of roses, open knit pastel sweater. That was a, also another quick flip. 22 bucks. Um, that was a returning customer of mine, a returning buyer. So I if they're coming back to you and you know their name and they're like adding it to a bundle and you know, you can send them a little better of an offer because guess what? They're giving you more money, not just one and done. Yeah. They're giving you more money. So I took a little bit more off than I would have for a normal person. Seven for all mankind. The Guinevere. Seven for all mankind. Gotta love them. Yep. Those sold full asking price. Woke up. Congratulations. Sale. Bam. Another. Brandy, Brandy Melville. Melville, 15 bucks. So not a lot of money in the Brandy, but it goes. Another pair of boots. These were faux suede, so 30 bucks. Dun, dun, dun. Almost there. <laughs> Coach Madison, Abigail, large Lorex. <laughs> Jay found this. Yep. Jay found this at a yard sale. And you I got had it for like two bucks. Gone back to the car to get a drink of water. And he came running up to the car, and in his hand, he was holding a purse. I'm like, am I watching my husband run up to me holding a purse right now? And yes, he was. And that purse got us 50 bucks. <laughs> oh, uh. flipping blonde. I just sold that same free people sweater. It's a really <laughs> cute sweater. It's really cute. Everybody wants it. <laughs> so Miss Me signature boot cut jeans. These were interesting Miss Me's. There's no bling. Look at that pocket. It plain. Someone still wanted them. 30 bucks. Plus, it was a little bit larger of a waist size, size 30. Ah, the J brands that I can't move or the J brands that I can move. Why did I move these? High rise skinny jeans. So these went for 42 bucks. Dun, dun, dun. Can't dis all. Adriana Goldsmith. No, the women, the, <laughs> Adriana Goldsmith for women is moving better than for men this fall. So um, she's having better luck with her AGs than I am with mine right now. It does depend on cut. Like the angels. Cuts are, yeah, cuts are uh -uh. key. Not so much, you know, but the um, 
cigarette, the stilt cigarette and the Stevie do very well for me. They also have skinny jeans that have, say skinny in it. Those also do very well. Plus it was a size 30 and NWOT. These were also still available on the Adriana Goldschmidt website for full asking price. And I was sure to mention that. All right. Hudson boot cut. Love mid-rise boot cut jeans. Size 31, 50 bucks. Full asking price. More free people. <laughs> <laughs> More free people. I sold that sweater twice. And I picked it up and I'm looking at it. I'm like, I've sold this sweater before. And those were my original cover photos of the same sweater that I sold. Now this I learned during a Connecticut thrifting meetup. We do those once in a while with Steve, with Steve Reagan. Um, hardtail, never heard of it. Never heard of it. Um, it got a lot of likes really quick and I was getting offers and I took 22 bucks on it. Made well, made well high rise or skinny jeans. 34 bucks. And the last two. <laughs> this Free People sweater sold in like two days. I put it up. No, not even. Not even. Quick. It sold quick. <laughs> Real quick. I was like, oh man, I just, it wasn't even in inventory. It's one of those quicks. Both of these weren't even in inventory yet. They were so quick. So the Mary Gold open knit pullover sweater, 35 bucks. And the last is the Ginger from Seven for All Mankind. They are very, similar to the dojo i don't find gingers that often i think i find dojos those sold faster right those sold really Real quick. fast like you got them up and they sold the next day i know it might be hard to tell but they have the same like trouser hem as the dojo does it has a very similar trouser width it's just a tiny bit more fitted um in the thigh area and it has a great back rise so there's no like butt crack hanging out you know um I, I, every time I find the gingers, I'm like, yes, I get super excited to find the gingers. So those were my sales and I'm going to go to stop and we're back. And we're back. <laughs> Let me just do something yeah, here. We're back. <laughs> we're back. So let's see. We'll catch up on the questions. Here. Yes. Scrolly, scrolly, what do we scrolly. Got? Let's, I'm on the computer. I saw a few of them. Let's see what we got. I'm, uh, bear with me. I'm just reading the comments. I think he found okay. He my best there. jean seller is Torrid. <laughs> we're trying to get to where we left off because when we screen share, we only see what we're sharing. With a lot you. of comments coming in, not too many questions. So we are. That's what what's sold for us. You see, Karen has a few more sales than I do. Um, women's obviously are still doing outperforming men right now, but I'm actually father. coming coming close to um taking her over soon. Uh, men's are really get gaining traction right now. I have uh, exploded in the past like month and a half or so. When fall hit, it started. It seemed like every man on Poshmark wanted to buy something. So, um, if you have men stuff, now's the time to list them. Uh, men are really flocking to the app. There's been a Poshmark commercial that we just saw with a man on it talking about how he found these great stuff on Poshmark, and it's bringing men into the app. So they're definitely marketing towards men right now, which is great. I was excited so, to see um, that commercial. Men's stuff, if it's not selling yet for you guys, it's going to sell very soon. So keep that in mind. Um, so Fine Apple says, I'm curious. This is my first year selling. What happens after Christmas? Do sales take a nosedive? So I have heard, I personally, my January is fine. You know, um, the past two years, like the bookkeeping, my January is like fine. It doesn't take a dive. But I've heard people say, oh, it slows down. You know, it could happen. But as long as you keep to good practices, you know, you're still sharing three to five times a day. You're listing every day. Just because Christmas is over doesn't mean it's time to, like, you know, kick back and relax. If As long as you're putting the proper Poshmark work in every day, then your sales shouldn't take that big of a dive whatsoever. Plus, people got the gift cards. Yep. <laughs> they get the Visa gift cards. They want to go shopping, you know. And so then they're not spending money on yeah. other people. They might have spent on themselves. <laughs> Where do you get your items when winter hits? Uh, same places. We go to thrift stores. Yeah. We go to um, – uh, where else do we go? We go online once in a while and buy some bulk and, buys. And uh, close-out sales. Close-out like sales. Yep. Looking, uh, I'm, I'm looking to get more into – men's wholesale right now so i'm probably going to do some wholesale buying over the we winter we will buy out of season yep. if it's a good deal and you can't pass up on right. it you know it, it's like i'm not going to say no to like this beautiful like vince cashmere sweater for two dollars 
<laughs> because it's June. I'm going to like put that aside until like August, September and get top dollar for it. And then it's like, I kind of have like a out of season dead pile, but then I have a jump start on the season. I know some people don't like to do that because you are sitting on your money. That's how we work. We're yeah. okay sitting on a couple of items. You know, um, Jay just found some bathing suits that he's not going to list right now, <laughs> unless he's like starving for listings, I guess. But he'll list them when it's spring, yep. you know, like March, April, he'll start listing those and he'll have things to list. Yeah, you might as well buy swimsuits now. If you can find good swimsuits and they're probably going to be a lot cheaper now than they're yes. going to be in the summer, buy and them. No one's going to be looking for them. And you put them up, man. Yeah. that. You know, no one, even resellers. If, if for you're them, at yeah. a thrift store and, you, you know, they're not looking at the bathing suits. They're not looking at mini suits. Yeah, this is a good time to start buying capris and quarter Length pants least and all that good stuff. Or give me a, find that stuff because people aren't looking for that stuff right mm -hmm. now. So you can really get a leg up on sourcing on them. Don't forget to buy your bread and butter stuff, your jeans yes. and your sweaters and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But mix in a few spring and summer items now while you're sourcing, and you're going to get a lot better selection and you're going to get them for a lot better price. Uh, Zara sell better in small or large sizes? Um, I find Zara occasionally, you know, and it really, I, I don't, I'm not picky with the size. So I don't have enough data. To tell you, yes, no, big, small, whatever. I know that there's a lot of people that, like, um, in California that live by, like, Zara outlets and stuff, and they do really well. Um, we, I, I only find it at thrift stores, you know, so um, I don't have that to tell you that. <laughs> but many swimsuits, four bucks, new at tax, hmm. see? Four bucks to a tax. Retail for a hundred. You can't go wrong. They're blowing swimsuits out the door right now. <laughs> Lisa says Zara's large sizes are the smallest sizes. <laughs> I think I would feel the same way. <laughs> Guys, don't forget, we are so close here. We want to hit 50 likes at least by the end of the video. We're at 35. So if you haven't done so already, go hit that thumbs up button. Give us a like. We really appreciate it. Um, if you're new to our channel, definitely subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so you know when we're live or when we're listing uh, uh posting new videos um and yeah so we'll take some more questions for you from you guys right pineapple now pineapple wants to go shopping now who doesn't want to go shopping <laughs> that's the best part of the job yeah we, we did a really quick, we did a quick stop source today yeah. at the goodwill after we were spending some time with steve raken this today and we stopped in the glass mary goodwill and i found three pairs of jeans like all in order and then like almost nothing else i found pilgrim in the letterpress which is anthropology which had all these like fancy like patchwork and like cool you know made well made well jeans and then another pilcro in the letterpress and three like, in a row oh, can't beat that so wham, wham, wham. we got a question here from krz walton my pictures did not come out well when taking them how can i improve my picture quality for listing make sure your lighting is good mm -hmm. make sure your um backdrop and your backgrounds are good um have a solid background uh check your camera settings right yeah so if you're using your cell phone first thing i'm going to tell you something so rudimentary wipe your lens like go and like wipe it on your shirt it, you wouldn't be amazed how many fingerprints are on your lens and that can like disrupt it you know um we use natural light however when i had a studio before i moved into here i would use both natural light coming through the window and my box light so improve your lighting if you um have a smartphone a lot of them allow you to adjust the aperture how much light's yep. coming in like you on the iphone you hold down with your thumb until you see the box with the arrow and you slide up allowing more light to come in to here so a lot of the new smartphones will allow we'll do you that, to change yeah. the aperture yes so in your experience destiny asks do asks do thrift stores usually stock up before or after major sales and when do you find better things hope that makes sense well um thrift stores are stocked constantly changing their products mm -hmm. so they're always getting new product in and they're always so it really doesn't have to do with sales or any trends like that it has to do with what's coming in at what time they're constantly receiving new products so they're constantly flipping their shelves that's why they have so many 50 percent off deals and um colors of the week and all that good stuff they're constantly getting new products so i don't think the sales really have a ramification on when new products stock is stocked in a thrift store i think they're just stocked every day there's something new going into a thrift store so it doesn't hurt to go at any time but obviously wait for the those sales citizen, you know they just might be like oh i have too much stuff in my closet i have nowhere went shopping and they just might drop a bag off at the goodwill and think they're doing their good deed you know um that's very common you know so you never know <laughs> and that's also why the, the goodwill especially those are nationwide 
they do very good with rotating their socks. That's why most of them have colors. Yep. So they can, you know, know, okay, this color has been on the floor for a month. Time to go to the outlets, you know, so they can replenish stock. Um, wait, wait, I saw a question. Do you do closet consultations? Yeah, get in touch with us on Instagram, Thrifty Flamingo without the the, and uh, we will talk to you about closet consultations. Get him out of here. Uh, okay. Keep going. I'm looking at the comments. We, we got go. real quiet. Yeah, we got quiet there. <laughs> So how do junior sizes do for you? I You missed the question. Oh. Uh, miss? Oh, no, you didn't. I'm sorry. I was looking down. I thought that was below. <laughs> yep, go ahead. Junior sizes, I don't pick them up that often. You know, um, how to tell junior sizes in jeans is they're odd, odd numbers. Not the waist size where you see 29 to 30, 31, like a regular numerical waist size, but when it is vanity sizing for us women, you know, size 8. Oh, I'm a size 4. Instead of a 4, it would be a size 3. That would be the junior equivalent. Now, occasionally you'll find jeans that are a three slash four. Those are more misses. <laughs> but I, I don't, I kind of stay away from junior sizes because they're iffy. I also don't find them all that often. And especially in the stuff that I source for, I'm not looking. I mean, Wild Fox technically could be considered a junior size. Same thing with Brandy Melville. You know, so there are some items that I'll get in a junior size, but for the most part, not the audience that I cater for or look for. Oh, I love my ears. I keep catching them sparkle. <laughs> I keep catching them. Yeah, we're working on it. I'm getting all these trolls out of here, so. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know where my phone was, when, I, but I see a question that says, is Wild Fox an anthropology brand? No, it is not. It's just Wild Fox. It is not. Whoa, <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot, yeah. They go to timeout. Do you know there's actually a button that says <laughs> timeout? <laughs> I feel like you're going to timeout, son. <laughs> so we are getting close to the end here, guys. No problem. If you have any more questions, throw them in the comments and we will get to those. We're While we're doing that, remember, Poshing for Profits, our comprehensive guide on how to make a full-time living working part-time on Poshmark is currently on sale for 50% off this week. All you got to do is click the first link in the description. You're going to get right to that course. No coupon codes, no nothing needed. $97 is the single payment option. $23.50 is the payment plan. So you can get into Poshing for Profits for as low as $23.50 tonight. Um... All you got to do is check it out. It's a great course. We've got a lot of great feedback from it. We give you a private Facebook group to um, comment and questions, all that good stuff. We are both in that group all the time. Um, it's a phenomenal course. We've had a lot of great feedback from it. If you get it today, if you get it tonight and you've been waiting for the right time, now is the right time. Steve Rakin is giving away three killer bonuses with uh, this course, 101 killer men's clothing guide, 101 killer women's shoes, and the Blazing Profit system. Blazing Profits helps you source for men's suits, blazers, and um, all the like like that. Women's shoes is self-explanatory, 101 profitable shoes to sell, and 101 killer men's brands, profitable men's brands that'll net you a ton of money and that you can find at thrift stores. So those are all free to you. If you buy the course tonight, all you got to do is, is email rakeandprofit at rakeandprofit at gmail.com and show him your receipt, and he will get those bonuses over to you guys. They will jumpstart your sourcing, give you the leg up on the competition, and you guys will be all set. Barbara says, too many lowballers lately. It's frustrating. So this is why Jay is starting a new pricing yep. tactic. And I've, I've always kind of been towards a higher price to allow for lower. As you see, when I drop prices, you'll be like, she had them at 42, but she took 28. Like, what the? I price that way, you know, um, because it's the nature of the beast. Yeah, double your profit. Um, Double your your. Know what you want to make off this yes. this stuff. So do a comp on it, and then really go double what the comp's going to be because people are going to give you fifty percent offers all the time. But you're going to be comfortable taking that offer because that's really what you're going to make on the product. So you're going to get them to offer exactly what you'll take, and you won't have to bounce back and go through a whole bunch of negotiations with them or anything like that. You it's just be able working. to sell it right off the bat. It's been working pretty. Yeah, well. it has been working quite. Uh, you know, we quite met a, bit, a so. fella, two fellas at Posh Fest that. Uh, Gave us that little tidbit of advice. I'm like, I already kind of do that, but maybe I'll do it more. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Lisa Barton says, mine wasn't really a question, but a statement and wondered if you guys agree or is there another way? Can you type the statement again, Lisa? And we'll uh, let you know. 
Um, can you sell items you make such as jewelry? Yes, you can, as long as you can wear it as yes. accessories, clothing, or anything like that. It can be sold. Recommend lighting kits. Yeah, we do um, have a lighting kit on our... So do I recommend them? So You know, it was many, many, many resellers use them. I have a lighting box. We prefer natural light. Prefer natural light, yeah. I also like to work during the day. You know, I don't like to work at like midnight. However, if you if your situation calls for you to take pictures at like 8 p.m., you're going to need a lighting kit. You know, so definitely I have in my descriptions at the very bottom of every video, every bit of equipment that I use, whether it's for YouTube or for photo photography. And I do have my lighting box up there. Um, and I do have a diva ring which is you've seen them they're like round rings so you put the camera in the middle very bright so if you need a lighting kit and, and you can't do so much natural light you got to do what you got to do you got to enhance your pictures so people can see them you know people are always uh lux people are always going to make an offer on your items if they want it the price isn't going to scare them they're just going to lowball the hell out of you so if you price high enough, double your profits, then you're going to take the right offer. It's been working for me tremendously. And I thought I was pricing too high to begin with, but I've been getting offers on all the mm -hmm. stuff I've been pricing high. And I've been getting offers for right around 50 to 40% off and it's working. So it don't be afraid that you're pricing too high. You can always lower the price um, down the road if something's not getting any and traction. So. Occasionally, like a few of mine that I was going through, I was like, oh, that was bought straight out. You know, it's like, oh, hey, they just bought $58 jeans or $70 jeans. Like, no question asked occasionally you're not even going to get an offer you're just going to get cha-ching and <laughs> who doesn't want more money right <laughs> so lisa barton said i sold an item i cross posted to ebay after i had sent out an offer to likers i can can't put not for sale go in and change the size of the or item the color or the color uh, so edit that listing, change the size or color. It's going to make a new listing for you, and then you can delete it so you're good to go. Yay, Carrie Cartwright. <laughs> Carrie Cartwright got rid of some of the trolls. There you go. Ah, long time no here. Hello, hello. <laughs> There's always Love someone you, out there that wants to be a dick. Ah, spoken like a true Jay Spence. <laughs> Tell them like it is, huh? Yeah, that's the same thing. Fine Apple's doing the same thing. When they get offers to Likers, they think they're getting a huge deal, and... You're good to go. And sometimes if I had reduced, publicly reduced a price, you know, and I want to send out a private offer, I'll edit to <laughs> increase it a bit. So it looks like they're getting a good deal because the private offer to Likers is not based on your historical low. It's based on like whatever the heck it's yep. at. Ah, there's a tip. You don't have to give an offer from where it's at. Sorry, I jumped off camera. Edit that. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Lisa. Yes, of course. That's what we're here for. The tips and the tips, tips and tricks and Poshmark, Poshmark <laughs> hacks. That's what we do. Um, again, guys, click on the first link in the description. If you're looking to get into Poshmark and you just can't quite figure it out or you're new to Poshmark and you need a little help, Poshing for Profits, 50% off. It's going to give you that leg up that you need. Tons of free bonuses. Steve Reagan's giving away. So um, 101 killer clothing brands, 101 shoe brands for women and um, the Blazing Profit system. So you're gonna get all those for free just for signing up. I think it's like a $500 value on, on uh, his guides. You read so, the men's ones. Oh, the men's guides when are phenomenal, yeah. When he got into selling men's clothes, he wore men's clothes, but he didn't do like names. He looks at me, I'm like, I can tell you all about women's clothes. The men's guide is phenomenal. It helped my yeah. sourcing tremendously. So definitely I'm check that course out. If you're waiting fine. to get in now, click on that first link. They'll get those guides to you and you guys will be a sourcing ninja in no time and be making the most out of all of your product. So click on that first link in the description. Check Poshing for Profits out for us tonight if you haven't done so already. And uh, we hope to see you guys in the Facebook group. We're always in there taking a look at Facebook and answering your questions and comments and all That's that good stuff. That's where the cut from the cloth question was. Yeah. The Poshing for Profits Facebook group. I was like, where was that? So guys. 76 viewers. With that being said. Give us a thumbs up. We're going to end the show tonight. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight, guys. Um, If you haven't done so already, hit that thumbs up button and like us. And hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to tap that bell so you're notified when we go live and uh, post videos. And we're going to be live on our normal day. Yep, Thursday. Thursday this week. Yes, and we we're are. sorry we missed you last week. Karen got a cold and it was really, it was a I was 26 terrible cold. pregnant at the time with a cold. And I couldn't, you can't really take all too much of anything oh it was bad <laughs> love you too barbara <laughs> sourcing bad. ninja there you go I, everybody we're gonna get going i hope you guys have a safe halloween yep you drive safe remember there's kitties out there i love the holiday the Just name make the holiday good the name of the facebook group is poshing for profits but it is only available Close. to people who purchase the course you can't get mm -hmm. into this group without purchasing poshing for profits um 
it's something that we do just for our members. So mm -hmm. we try to, to keep it closed like that and uh, feel we're doing a service for them. We do have Instagram. Our Instagram is thrifty flamingo without the, the, so Instagram just take us, like take us, take us, take a look at us over on Instagram. If you guys want a closet consultation, I know someone asked about that before. Get in touch with us on Instagram. Send us a message. We'll get back to you. The baby is due on January 29th. And mm -hmm. those are all the questions up until now. <laughs> you guys have a great night. Oh, take a breath. <laughs> and we will see you on Thursday. Have a happy, happy Halloween, Halloween, everybody. Happy guys.